Hello, and welcome back to your channel. Today, we'll delve into a topic that countless individuals grapple with, the power of staying focused. As Brian Tracy aptly puts it, your success is determined by your ability to focus on one thing at a time. I wholeheartedly concur with his sentiment. Join me in this video as we explore valuable insights from renowned coaches like Brian Tracy, Jim Rohn, and Earl Nightingale. Let's embark on this journey together and uncover the wisdom they have to offer. Brian Tracy said your success is determined by your ability to focus on one thing at a time. If you have a long list of things to get done within a day, do the toughest ones while your concentration is at its peak. If you're a morning person, get the job done in the morning. Don't wait until the evening when your energy is all spent. No, do the jobs that need the most concentration when your body is best able to handle them. If you're a night person, save those tough jobs for the night. Not in the morning when you've still got cobwebs in your brain. Learn your body's rhythms and do the jobs that need the most concentration when you're able to do them best. Focus concentration is paramount. You've got to identify your target. Let nothing stand in your way. You've got to keep your eye on the target until you've released the arrow. Let nothing capture your attention unless it's in the best interest of your ambition. Let not an obstacle come before you without getting around it. Going over it, going under it, or trying a different path until you get there. Concentration in sports is crucial. The consummate professional on the field or on the court won't hear the jeering of the crowd. Their concentration keeps all noise and clutter at bay. They have one thing in mind, and that's moving the ball. You have to have just one thing in mind, keeping on track, closing out all the noise and clutter that gets in your way, going around all the obstacles of negativity and influence. In a tennis match, how long does it take for your opponent to return the ball? It's not very long. And what if you lose your concentration? Game's over. One little slip of concentration, just that fast, and your opponent puts the ball by your feet, and there goes the tennis man. In a major presentation, just lose your concentration for a flash of a second. And I'm telling you, you could lose it all. All the hard work, all the long hours, all of the preparation, all the momentum building to that crucial presentation could be gone if you don't keep your concentration, if you don't watch your audience, if you don't keep your mind on what you're doing, if you don't stay focused on the task at hand, it could slip right by you. Wherever you are, be there. Whatever you're supposed to be doing for the moment, do it. You can't be thinking of everything you have to do at one time all the time. You have to concentrate on just one thing at a time, one project, one job. You have to take it one task at a time and complete it. Do what you've set out to do. Keep your mind only on that one task. Why? If you don't, you won't accomplish anything. When you're at work, be at work. When you're in a conference, be in that conference. When you're at your kid's school, play your soccer game or dance recital, be there. Don't let your mind wander. Stay focused. Stay focused on the task at hand or the company you're with. Don't let your mind wander during conversations. You never know what important points you'll miss. Stay focused. Stay true to where you are and what you're doing. Use your discipline to keep your mind in line. When you recognize the need to concentrate more and when you discipline yourself to stay focused, it will come easier and easier. Concentration takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of discipline to demand privacy to keep the do not disturb sign on your door while you're in the middle of an important job. It takes a lot of discipline not to answer the phone every time it rings at home. That's why they make voicemail and answering machines. So you don't have to answer the phone every time it rings. Your family will appreciate an uninterrupted dinner hour. Your night work will get done a whole lot faster. Concentrate on the work at hand and demand of yourself, the discipline to stay focused. Focus concentration can be learned. Focus concentration can become a habit if you work on it a little every day. Every day, the easier it comes, the less energy you'll waste on making your mind minds you. Number one cornerstone of an ambitious person. Concentration, focus concentration. Make your mind pay attention. Discipline yourself to be where you are. Work at work and play at play. Don't mix the two. Concentrate. Give your job the attention it deserves. Give your family the attention they deserve. Give your colleagues the attention they deserve. 
however you are, be there. Concentrate. How many people do you know who can do the same thing? It seems that most people want so many different things, or at least they think they want them, that they're unable to focus their efforts, their minds, their hearts on anything specific. And all this leads to is doubt and confusion. They're like the guy who jumped on a horse and rode off in all directions at once. They don't recognize how vital it is to pick one port that's important and sail to it. Rest and refit for a little while, then sail to another port. In this way, in not so many years, a person can set and reach his goals one by one, until finally he has a tremendous pile of accomplishments in which he can take pride. He has all the things he wants just because he had the sense enough to realize he could do well only one thing at a time. There's another analogy that fits here, and maybe it makes the most important point of all. If a ship tied to a dock for some reason had no place to go, she'd stay there until she fell apart from rust and disuse. A ship's engine isn't started until she has some place to go. Here again, it's the same with people. This is why it's so important that each of us has a port of call we want to reach, a goal, a place to get to that we feel would be better than the place in which we now find ourselves. If we don't, well, we might never cast off, never really start our engine, never know the thrill of sailing. A charted course to a place we can't see for fully 99 of the journey. But we know it's there, and we know that if we keep sailing toward it, we'll reach it one day. Today, in a world where an infinite number of distractions are just a few clicks or swipes away on a smartphone, staying focused at work is more challenging than ever before. Follow these five useful tips if you would like to become more focused and productive. One, limit online interruptions. When used correctly, the internet can be an incredibly powerful tool in the workplace. However, it can also become a bottomless pit of distractions that drain your time minute by minute. With so many jobs requiring you to spend part of your day working online, simply unplugging your Wi-Fi isn't an option for many people. But when you can, it is incredibly beneficial to unplug and focus solely on the task at hand. Simply muting your notifications and closing out your windows for a period each day can go a long way toward boosting your focus and productivity. If going offline isn't an option for you, consider using ad dawns that block social media sites and other time Wasting sites and other time, wasting sites. Two, create a designated time for meetings. Meetings and conferences are obviously an important part of the workday for many professionals. If you've ever been focused on completing a task only to have your motivation and productivity derailed by a meeting, then you know how disruptive these meetings can be. Since meetings can tend to interrupt focus and progress, it's much better to schedule all of your meetings at a designated time rather than allowing them to continually interrupt your work at random intervals throughout the day. Similar to blocking off time for meetings, a third focus tip is to schedule daily focus hours. It really takes time to get into a groove of focusing all of your attention and effort on a single task. In many cases, you won't start doing your best work on a task until you have had the chance to sit down and focus on it for an extended period. This means that even one interruption to your progress can force you to start the process of honing in on a task and getting into the most productive groove all over again. In the same way that meetings are able to interrupt focus, anything that draws your attention away from your work or even a brief period of time can end up having a serious impact on your productivity. Scheduling daily focus hours where you isolate yourself entirely from distractions and focus only on a single important task can be a powerful way to ensure that you're able to get into the flow of your work and produce results without interruption. Three, set time limits for tasks. Few things are more motivating than a deadline, even when you set the deadline for yourself. Simply placing a limit on how long it should take you to complete a task can provide you with a sense of urgency and give the task a feeling of importance that you might not have otherwise felt about the task at hand. Four, take short breaks. Taking breaks from work to improve your focus and productivity may sound counterintuitive. It is true that breaks can interrupt your progress, just like a meeting or other distractions might. However, when scheduled properly, short breaks from work can provide you with a mental refresh that allows you to reset your focus and approach the task again with a renewed sense of motivation. Few people can work an entire eight hours without stopping and be expected to do their best work the entire way. 
You can certainly force yourself to power through without taking any breaks, but doing so often causes more harm than good. Rather than spending so much time focused on a task that your mind begins to tire or grow bored, schedule short breaks throughout the day to re-energize and reset your focus. These breaks can be as simple as a quick walk outside for a breath of fresh air or a trip to the water cooler for a cup of water. Just a few minutes away from work is typically all that is required to hit the mental reset button. If you found this video helpful and enjoyable, I invite you to become a subscriber to my channel, give the video a like, and share it with your friends. We're all about fostering discussions here, so don't hesitate to share your thoughts on the topic in the comments section. We love hearing from you.